Good morning, Moon Fortians. I hope you are doing fine. So, our next chapter is chapter number sixteen, the Lighthouse in Literature. It's written by Marjorie Wilson. Okay, it's a poem about a lighthouse. Now, what is a lighthouse, students? A lighthouse, as you can see in the picture, is a tall, narrow building which is built across a sea coast. What is coast? A land across the sea. Okay, so it is built across a sea coast or a shore, which is a land adjoining sea, and it throws away powerful shining light for the ships to warn them from any kind of danger. Fine. Suppose a ship is coming and it sees the light of the lighthouse, then it. it is cautious that ahead there is a danger and i don't have to move in that direction so lighthouse is a tall narrow building which is built across a sea near a sea coast coast is a land across the sea which emits which throws powerful shining light for the coming ships to warn them of any kind of danger and it acts like a traffic signal on the sea So read this poem about the life of a lighthouse keeper. So there is a there are men who are living inside that lighthouse, which are known as who are known as lighthouse keepers. So their work is to guard that light of the lighthouse. Now let us read it. First paragraph: Burning upon some hidden shore across the sea one night, a little reef. The captain said, "We saw a shining light." so burning upon some hidden shore means burning means throwing shining light it is burning like fire throwing light like fire so lighthouse is throwing light and it is built upon some shore shore is a land across the sea the captain said the captain of the ship is the speaker in this poem he is telling us that there is a lighthouse there and i can see a shining light He said there was a lighthouse there where lonely in the sea men lived to guard that moving light and trim the lamp for me. So he said that I can see a lighthouse across the shore, and there are men who are living and working inside that lighthouse who are known as lighthouse keepers, who guards that moving light, the light which moves in all the directions, and they trim the lamp for me. trim means to cut away the end parts okay for me for him for every ship that passes by that way i thought it must be strange and quiet to be there every day so the lighthouse keepers or the lighthouse throws the light for every ship for every captain that passes by their way and it is very very lonely very very strange for the lighthouse keepers to live inside that lighthouse why because they have no shops no streets no form of entertainment no person to talk to no whispering sound of trees the only sound they have is the sound of waves in the sea okay so they have no shops no fields no streets no whispering sound of trees but always shouting at their feet the great voice of the seas the great voice of the seas means sound of the waves okay so the only sound they can hear is the sound of the waves so there is no form of company for them there is no person to talk to they are just sitting day and night in that room to guard that light of the lighthouse so it is the life of the lighthouse keeper is very difficult and strange now the last paragraph and when we sleep at night they wake and over every wave they send that strong straight arm of light stretched like a rope to save even when we are sleeping at our home they are awake okay they are just doing their duty day and night they are sending that straight arm means line of light for the ships to warn them of danger and the shining light is compared with a rope just as you throw a rope to save someone uh, you throw that shining light also to save the ships so that that shining light is stretched like a rope stretch means to make something longer so it is stretched like a rope to save the ships from danger thank you